This is Nina Curley of WAMDA. I'm here with Jem Sartolo of Early Bird Ventures, a European early and growth stage VC. Jem, how are you? Very good, thank you very much. It's exciting to be at Webrazi and seeing how much it's grown over the last few years. It's really exciting for us to be here. This is our first time. Um, to have you guys here. <laughs> thank you. So, um, so, through, so Early Bird has invested in Peak Games, which recently opened an office in Jordan. And um, you, as an angel investor, have also invested in Yamik Sepeti, the food delivery company that operates in MENA um, via Food on Click. So um, do you expect to see any of the other companies that you've invested in or Early Bird has invested in to start focusing on MENA? Absolutely. As a, as a Turkish uh, technology investor, you know, it's, it's actually been one of the themes that we've been thinking about and, uh, and exploring uh, aggressively in that, uh, you know, the, the one of the first questions once we start to uh, see traction in our core market, which is typically Turkey, is, you know, where else are these businesses uh, going to be able to expand to? And uh, with Istanbul becoming a bit of a hub in, in the region these days, uh, we think it's a, it's a great opportunity to be able to either partner with uh, some local entrepreneurs in, in some of the neighboring geographies, whether it's MENA or sometimes in Central and Eastern Europe, and uh, be able to expand our businesses, uh, kind of drawing on their entrepreneurial energy. Um, I'm sure some of the companies will um, choose to go in organically and open their own uh, presence in these in these markets. Others will perhaps look for acquisition opportunities if there's a compatible uh, target. You know, Peak has done some of that in the region lately. Um, or, uh, like I said, you know, partner with uh, local entrepreneurs who have a good fit with the company to be able to uh, sort of take the know-how and perhaps the brand and operational uh, excellence that might be present from the you know, from the companies that are coming in and adapt them to the to the local needs uh, of, the, of the local market. Right, they can partner with local companies that have already sort of cracked the code of the MENA market. Um, and for all of those startups listening who might be excited about a potential exit and acquisition, what models are you looking at? Which company, which models do you think will expand from Turkey? Um, relatively naively, you know, we look at it from a pragmatic perspective. You know, one of the difficulties in the region is that uh, you know, MENA in general doesn't have very large individual markets, I mean, except for maybe Saudi, but then that has its own difficulties. But uh, so we try to look for op your models that uh, do don't have to move physical goods across borders. So e-commerce we find is a little bit more difficult. We're a little bit more uh, sort of timid around uh, you know situations where you have to actually clear customs and uh, you know rely on local uh, fulfillment and, and and delivery and payment uh, operations. But uh, when you're talking about digital goods that are moving across uh, borders, then uh, it's a different story. So we're excited about uh, gaming, obviously, with, uh, as we've expanded with Peak. Um, also digital media. Uh, perhaps uh, from a Turkish angle, uh, there's now a, uh, a sense in Turkey that uh, there's demand for Turkish origin content from the, from the region. I think some of the TV properties have actually uh, demonstrated that. Uh, so we think that you know what could be the extension of that on the on the digital side. So some of the digital media um, companies and digital content companies uh, might be sort of next in line to look for uh, you know how they how else they can uh, they can expand into into uh, into Mina. That makes absolute sense to me. Turkish uh, shows are so popular in the region. Yeah. Well, thanks for chatting with Wamda, and we look forward to seeing developments your side. Thank you very much. No, it's exciting to to, to be talking to you guys. Thank you.